Alright, boys and girls, we got the goods. So, as you can see, there is ick in this tank, because I introduced some new guppies and they had it and I didn't quarantine. That's my bad, my fault. But all the new guppies have it, so that's fun. And the old one, they got it too. That's, that's great, because I've waited a day to get it, because I had to get it, obviously. This tank's planted a bit more. As you can see, it's got some plants in it. They're wilting because I just now put in the root tabs. And that Anubis plant just got that light right here. That's what that light's for and that light's for and all that lighting's for because it didn't have enough light. Now it does. So plants are going to grow in eventually. Uh, not what the video is about. The video is about Ickex. We're going to see if it works in a planted aquarium for Ick. Obviously, I'm pretty sure it will, but you know what? It's it's a video. A lot of people don't know. They don't know if they want to do it for a planted tank. So we're gonna see. Um, uh, well, catch up with you when I'm putting it in, and then I'll see you tomorrow. Alrighty. So we got that all in there. It's yummy. That's 10 milliliters exactly what it says on the bottle. So let's just. And by the way, take all the carbon out of your filters. I took out the. It's just 10 milliliters of Ick X. I think it says to put on there to treat Ick. Well, we'll be back tomorrow with an update. Alright, everybody, it's been about, I think, about like seven days. Almost a week. Six or seven days. Almost a week, that's for sure. And, um,. Vig is completely gone, no bacterial infections. I'm just trying to keep it out of the water pump right now by preventively treating with ICX. Uh, they're still bouncing off the substrate, but that's just because of the water changes. Uh, yeah, they're all looking pretty healthy. They're not all going to the top to breathe. I mean, except for the high temperature, right? So I have to lower it. Yeah, so we still got a lot of babies. And if you haven't checked out that video on how to induce labor or how I accidentally induce labor in my guppies, go check that out. And uh, yeah, so basically, I'm going to title this comparing Ickex to Herbtana. With Herbtana, the fish ended up with a bacterial infection because of how long it took to treat. But with Ickex, it was gone in like three days, no problem. Just disappeared from the fish, no longer on their gills, no longer bothering them, they weren't stressed. And now they're just eating their food, enjoying their time. Even the, even the quarry catfish who weren't doing too good are now just doing perfect, enjoying their day as quarries do. I have to clean this glass, don't mind the glass, it's I. I'll clean it in a bit. The plants are doing great, it didn't harm the plants. Yeah, so basically, also I threw in some snails to see if it was safe for those types of inverts and stuff like that. So basically, uh, Herbtana sucks in comparison to Ickex. If it's all you can get, use Herbtana immediately because it's all you can get but it's just not what you should be using if you can get Ickex. Ickex is just better and this is a 20 gallon tank that one bottle treats this whole 20 gallon for about 12 days and it was only an eight dollar bottle so I'm gonna use the whole thing and um yeah so check the comments I was gonna up 
updated every day, but I didn't need to because it just disappeared almost immediately. Well, not immediately. It took a few days before it got off of every fish, but yeah, so I didn't even need to update it for a while. It was just gone. But here it is about like day six or seven and um, it's all gone. Like this video, make sure you subscribe and turn on them notifications so you know what video comes next.